Welcome to the Transform Sales Podcast, where forward-thinking business leaders come to share their experiences and ideas, learn from each other, and amplify their results together. Hey guys, what's up? Amir Ryder here for another episode of the Transform Sales Podcast, but it is the actual first episode of our actual sales training platform series, and who better than John Barrows to have on our, our first show. John, what's up? How are you, man? Good, Amir. How you doing, brother? Good. Normally, I, I ask my guests for an introduction, um, but this time I feel like everybody knows you, so I'm, I'm not necessarily sure we need that introduction, but I've, I've known John for quite some time, and I saw him as probably one of the most straightforward, honest guys in the industry, um, so I, I asked him to be, you know, be involved in the community and help as much as possible with, with a non-biased con the content sharing and, and tips, and he's on board. So, John, happy to have you here and, and talk about Jay Barrow's platform that you guys have uh, that you're going live with man yeah i'm excited to be here man i'm uh, and i appreciate uh appreciate the feedback and, and also including me on this because things are changing really rapidly right now in sales and yeah. uh it's 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 hard to stay on top of everything that's going on and i'm doing my best to to stay on top of things myself but also keep everybody else on top of it as well as we go through. yeah you've, you've introduced me some tools like clay that that have confused me and and, and boggle my mind they're actually coming down to the the world summit as well and yeah. i think you're going to be here on friday but yeah, things are changing fast, which I think is even more of a reason for um, non-fluffy, high-quality content, telling people you know what the latest and the greatest things are. Um, you've been a, a trainer for quite some time. You have some of the biggest logos I know uh, around the, the LinkedIn's, the Salesforce's of the world, the big companies. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about the, the 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 platform that you're you're working on now, where you're, I, from my understanding, giving access to people all that amazing training you used to do on site, but now more of a, in a SaaS product. Yep. Um, what is the JBARO sales training platform in general? How would you describe it? Yeah, I appreciate it. It's it's moving, it's kind of evolving with the times right now because I used to fly all around this world and do training. And this was before COVID, right? I would do on-site training. It would be 8.30 in the morning till five o'clock at night and I would do it all over the place. And, you know, everybody knows training is, is kind of an event, right? And you can do a pre and post, but a lot of times people come in, they get all jazzed up for a day or two, but then a month later, if you circle back, they're not doing anything different. The continuous learning component of training is missing in a lot of different programs, which is why we've evolved towards this. So when COVID hit, we had been delivering remote training for a while. And even though nobody wanted it, all of a sudden, like we were structured to do it. So it actually put us in a great position where we do rem live remote training, the same stuff we did on site. And then with this new kind of <laughs> the economy that we're in in the shift again, it said, all right, well, we need more access to content when and where we need it as sales professionals. And also from a management standpoint, something to make sure that it's constantly reinforced. And so what I'm doing now is I'm delivering the training, the two main training programs that I've been delivering for the past 10 years and evolving along the way, filling the funnel and driving a close. Filling the funnel is all about getting the meeting. So it's email, phone, contact strategy, social selling, messaging, and ICP and persona stuff, right? So it's all about creating a structure to get those meetings. And then the driving to close is once you have that meeting, what do you do, right? So negotiations, objection, and closing. And I deliver those as baseline because I really do believe that we've lost sight of the fundamentals here in sales. We've tried to over-engineer the sales process with too, too much technology. And so these programs are rooted in fundamentals, but they provide a structure for an agile framework to adjust with the times. So that is constant. I'll do that every single month and anybody can join. And then we have our whole online catalog that has all this stuff in video format that people can go in and search and find whenever they want with, his, with also other programs in there about personas, about personal brand building. So we go deep on certain topics and I'll constantly be adding more to that library. And then what I'm really excited about is these, these workshops that I'm going to be doing throughout the month for everybody that's part of the program. I admit there's no chance that I can stay up to date on all the different things that are happening right now, all the new tech, all the new approaches, whatever. And I'm just, I'm just not that bright to do it. But the cool thing is, is based on where I've got to in my career, I have access to a lot of these people who are way smarter in certain areas. Yeah. So I've broken down the sales process and we're going to be running workshops every single week on topics related to the sales process and how we can be as efficient as possible using some of the tools that are out there. So whether it's a tool like a chat GPT or an AI or whatever it is, I'm going to find whoever's great at optimizing that part of the sales process with a free tool and say, Hey, come in here and teach me. And as I learn, so will the audience learn along with me. It's the same yeah, thing. I, as saw all that. I saw that on your website. I, I, I scroll down and I saw some best of breed people that are chiming in on your course and, and, and being on the specific topics. 
Yeah. And we're really people these later. are people, these are not just, and this is also cool for me because I get to start playing around with my friends now yeah. <laughs> because, you know, historically it's just, I'm out there doing my thing, but there's all sorts of people, not just the tech, but all sorts of people who are doing some fantastic things at, from a sales training standpoint. So for instance, my good friend, Todd Capone, right? He's got this book called transparency sale that I think is fantastic on negotiations. So my filling of my driving to close will be the baseline of negotiations. And then we'll do a workshop with Todd about going deep on that topic. And by the way, yeah. if you want to engage with Todd after that, by all means. So it, I'm really looking to aggregate all the best providers out there that I know and bringing that so I can learn, but also the audience can learn with me. And that's why we're looking to put you in the marketplace. So when you do all that work, then we, it's it just one hand washes the other. Some of the things that you said are, mean a lot to me. So to recap, you've been around for quite some time. You're a leader in the space. I've known you for maybe six, seven years. You have been flying around the country, the world, teaching people on site. And it's been great, right? Like your courses have been awesome. People, people uh, love what you do. You've helped a lot of companies generate billions of dollars of, of revenue by following your top of the funnel and your, your bottom of the funnel process. But you've also in the, in that during, while doing that, you've actually productized your training and what would happen, it was kind of an aha moment where it's like, okay, cool. Like this is not going to go away. These on sites, they're not going to go away. This is not going to go away, but how do we take our training and make it faster, cheaper, and more efficient for more people to benefit from um, our training that works. And then instead of constantly creating new criteria, you've decided to work with the best in the market as your teammates to then access their courses with your, your platform, right? And then knowing that you have a relationship of, hey, if you want to go work with XYZ Deeper, go yep. ahead. We're not, we're not, not promoting that. Our, our, yep. our, there's no enemies here. Our friends, our colleagues. I I follow that same philosophy, and I think it's I think it's awesome that you're doing it because I personally have invested a quarter million dollar plus a year on training when we used to be a sales agency, and mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't with the best of the best, right? So um, we'll get into that later. But I, I know kind of what I I kind of know the cheat code. I know what you did, so I don't want to ruin the surprise. But talk to me about like what types of buyers do you guys serve best? And I know you specifically yeah. work in software and tech, but mm -hmm. let's talk about JBarrow's, the, the, the platform, right? The, the platform that has the on-demand content, the on-demand training, the remote stuff. Who do you guys serve the best with that? Is it so still software companies or services or a little bit of both? Uh, look, our niche is software and, yeah. and SaaS, but that's only because that's kind of where I grew up, right? Like my first client was uh, Salesforce, right? So I got Salesforce. I went all in when I was a solopreneur and I was like, all right, I'm going to get Salesforce. And then once I got Salesforce, I knew the whole SaaS industry was would kind of fall in line and that's what happened. But I'm rooted in in b2b sales uh tech sales as a matter of i'm sorry uh, professional services sales like my yeah. first my first company was thrive networks which was an outsourced it services firm and we sold to the smb market <clears throat> and i was a one-man show i had to run the entire sales process and this 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 training used to be called basho and i took it as a professional services company and basically built my entire organization and we were actually the fastest growing company in Massachusetts for about three years in a row using this. Got us to about uh, 12 million in revenue and about 85 employees. And it was because of this training. And so then when I, when I sold that company to Staples, I then joined Basho as one of the trainers, not because I wanted to be a trainer, but because I loved the content. And they had an interesting model where <clears throat> you couldn't just be a trainer there. You had to sell so that you could train. And that for me is huge because people ask me, like, I, I don't really consider myself a trainer. I'm a sales rep who happens to train. Like, you know, back in January when the bottom fell out of the market, I, I realized I had to go back to work, right? Like, and not that I'd never, you know, I always sell, but, but as a CEO, I was like, all right, I, I gotta go now sell. And I ended up generating like 49 meetings in February and 70 meetings for myself in Q1 and going on all those meetings. And it was because I had the skill set to do it, you know, and, and those fundamentals that I say yeah. we've gotten away from. And so that's why I think a lot of most of this is universal. There's no question about it. Does it fit into the predictable revenue model of segmentation of roles? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But if you think like I do, that sales is going back to full cycle and we're going to have to figure out how to find business, meet with clients and add value at every stage. This this stuff is pretty relevant to anybody who's looking to level up. So, so when you said, like, when I asked who you serve best, right, I kind of, I kind of understand your answer being like, well, look, I, I, I've worked with some of the biggest brands in SaaS, right? Mm -hmm. um, but who it serves best is really somebody who's looking for efficiency, 
it, it, it sounds, and I don't put words in your mouth, but if you're a B2B company and you're looking to have a top-notch training program without hiring full-time trainers and with mm -hmm. having low cost speed and everyone's remote, so it might not be in your office, but you can quickly join in and this is for you. And then I kind of know what you're saying because I think what you're like secretly saying is the truth that like, while everybody has been serving SaaS because SaaS has been hip, uh, other B2B industries actually have a lot more easy gains from this, right? Where yeah. you might be a B2B industrial sewing company and you take some of this training and all of a sudden you're going to get a hundred percent lift because it's new, completely new stuff to you. Right. Well, that's, so. that's, what's funny to me is like SAS. Yeah. You know, every once in a while, I have to take my head out of SAS every once in a while because I get so consumed with it. But when you take a step out, the reason I love playing in the SAS is not just because they innovate from a technology standpoint, but they also innovate from a sales standpoint. They're yeah. constantly pushing the envelope, looking for efficiencies, whatever it is. But once you come out of the tech and the SaaS world, the, the drop off of about sales is pretty significant. I mean, I still have people. It's funny. I, I, work, I worked at Xerox and it was my for second job. And <laughs> Xerox was all about solution selling. They, they created solution selling. And solution selling is instead of product pitching, you ask some questions. That's the basic essence of it. Yeah. And what kills me to this day is I still get people reaching out to me today and they say, John, you know, we, we need to make that transition to solution sales where, you know, our reps just have to stop pitching so much and start asking questions. And I'm like, where have you been? I'm like, Xerox came up with solution selling back in 1978. I'm like, so the fact that there's still a vast majority of people that are not adopting all the new technology I'm trying to get them to wake up to, to how to marry the two, the skills and the foundational piece with the new technology. Because if you're not paying attention to what's happening right now with that tech, you will wake up and get replaced. And that's what I think SaaS can't, the experience from SaaS can bring us is kind of the canary in the coal mine, if you will, of how SaaS is being impacted by what's happening. That's mm -hmm. all going to trickle down and it's going to trickle down faster now than ever because of what's happening with AI. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, I think you're right. I think it's a good opportunity for those laggards to catch up pretty quickly. And I guess it's almost answered the question. I was going to ask you know what differentiates what differentiates you from from other sales training platforms, but it almost sounds like the answer is just the fact that you have the B two B service experience, B two B service experience yourself, and B two B sales, which I think most trainers don't. Right? They they haven't got down and dirty, built a company in service, sold a company in service, right? Or some companies grow in software, so you kind of got that 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 broad experience, right? Even if they do, Amir, they did it a while ago. One of the reasons I never wanted to be a sales trainer was because most sales trainers are either failed sales professionals or professional presenters. And up until I, I you know, started doing this, mo the majority of sales trainers I come across, like I could just tell, you know, they're wearing a suit that's three sizes too big. They're doing a role play that would never happen in the real world. And I almost always, when I sit in a sales training, I almost always let them do their little intro. And then I raise my hand about five minutes in. And I'll ask, hey, can I just ask before we get started here, when was the last time you applied? Could you give me an example of the last time you applied whatever you're about to teach us here? And what was the result? And you'll watch nine out of 10 of them go, well, um, or uh, I've been working with my clients. Too. I go, no, 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 no. When was the last time you applied whatever you're about to teach us here? And by the way, you could tell me that you did it and it failed miserably. Like the client kicked you out of their That's office from, yeah. as long as you did it. But the problem is, is because things are moving so fast right now. I mean, look, what worked six months ago is just not working anymore right now. Mm -hmm. So if you're somebody who sold 10 years ago and are still trying to, or some of these pundits, and I love how everybody all of a sudden became an influencer. Everybody with a year's worth of experience in sales became an influencer in the past three months and has a community and everything else. But if you were successful for the past three, four, five, six, seven, ten years in SaaS specifically, good for you. So was everybody. Yeah. The question is, is does that stuff work in today's market? And that's where I'm at. I'm selling every day, just like everybody else, getting my ass handed to me, just like everybody else. And I'm not going to pretend like my cool stuff is going to be this magical thing. I'm going to show you. I'm going to learn out loud with everybody here. And that's the difference. Yeah, and that's so that's so every listing. I'm like, like the, during this transition to to creating a, a product offering that's faster, cheaper, more efficient. John has also got down and dirty, generating 41 meetings in Q1 and 71. So you're actually using your own content in real life to make meetings in the current environment, right? And then yep. you're accessing the most current top leaders who are talking on the most current topics to say, hey, instead of being Jay Barrows, no one else is there. Me, 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 me. This is not about me, Jay Barrows. This is about you, the buyer, and what you're going to learn. And this is about the community who wants to share. Makes lots of sense, right? Uh, like to me, I understand it. 
Uh, I've actually experienced it with you. I think I've set some meetings with you for companies that hired remote candidates in our marketplace and then said, holy crap, now we need to train them. Mm -hmm. And I've booked meetings with you and I've been there with you and I've been listening, you know, how you talk to buyers yourself. I see how you follow up, right? Like I, I'm almost in a way, sometimes John's SDR with, with you know, <laughs> I, like, I like doing it. Um, so that's pretty cool because not only, not only you're taking all these things and you're, you're making it into this, this platform that's accessible, which you're going to show in about five minutes, but you're getting down and dirty to kind of update what needs to be updated, if anything, and making sure it works. And, and this is so, so it makes sense. How do you feel about uh, giving the uh, viewers here maybe a quick glimpse of just the platform, yeah. how, what, what they can expect from Love it? To. Let me uh, see if I can share here. Full share screen. Let's You're making me want to become an expert at something and then and then jump on the training too. I want to participate. Love it. I don't like being left out, John. <laughs> All right, cool. Can you see the uh, screen right now? Oh, I can. All right. So this is the new site, uh, Sales Done Right, where it'll give you all the details of everything. Um, you know, team, tra team training, individual training, keynotes, and one-on-one -on -one coaching. But for the team training, for people who come onto the platform, if you log in here, um, we'll, we'll, I'll have an intro video. I'm going to update this as far as the different learning paths. So if you're an SDR, if you're an AE, if you're a manager, but then you'll have access to all these live sessions. So for instance, these are the live sessions that I personally do. So filling the funnel, driving to close, for instance, tomorrow, I'm starting my driving to close course. Um, and then there's an AMA is coming up and we'll just load more and more of these and you'll get an email every single week with all the topics that we're going to address throughout the month. And these will be a live. And then we have the courses. And this is all the pre-recorded stuff. So this is all the on-demand content and the two main programs, filling the funnel and driving to close. This is where you can go in and take, you know, the full session. This is the exact same training that I give to companies like Salesforce, LinkedIn, Box, and everybody else. And so now you can get it for a fraction of the cost of what they paid. And you'll notice in here, like if we, let's go to, you know, fundamental process, uh, let's go to ICP. So you'll notice every video is like less than five minutes each. And then there's an exercise to it. So it's all about application. It's not about just some interesting conversation. It's here's do this. Now go watch that. Right. So for instance, like you'll see here's my dumbass head pops up. Right. Uh, then you go through and you can also get certified. So this these certifications are actually bolstering a lot of people's profiles on LinkedIn because they check the box as far as if you have gone through the Filling the Funnel program, it's well known in the industry at this point. So if you are interviewing and you see Filling the Funnel, check the box, you know how to prospect. Yeah. So then- It's safe back. to say that people who have your certifications have the power to earn more. Absolutely. I, there's no question. Of, I mean, I get, I get emails daily from people saying, Hey, John, you know, when I went in for an interview and I got this and all of a sudden, or when I invested in myself and my boss saw that I got a promotion or whatever it is, because mm -hmm. it, it's a, it's well known at this point that these two co programs give you the foundation that you need. And then there's other programs in here, like sales navigator, like how to go deep on sales navigator, driving results for customer success, personal branding, content strategy, personas, need selling and everything else. So we're going to be constantly adding more and more programs to this, um, but these are the core ones. And then the content library. This is where we basically put every single tip, every single nugget, every video we've ever done. And you can go in there and search on cold calling, prospecting, whatever it might be. And last but not least is the resources section. So this is all the resources, the templates that I give everybody, um, all the tech that I recommend, blogs to follow, different art articles that I usually recommend taking a look at, and then the books that I, uh, that I recommend reading as well. So all that you get um, as part of this program as an individual or as an agency. It's TAS, T-A-A-S, training as a service, really. I'm like, I, I don't want to sit here and throw out silly buzzwords, but it, but like if you think yeah. about what software, co software companies don't even realize they're outsourcing, right? I've had them tell me before we don't outsource sales. And I'm like, well, software means um, sales is, software as a service to outsource yeah. it to us, right? So, uh, you know, I don't want to sound salesy here, but I will because I have spent maybe a million dollars on training. And I think that gives me an authority to tell people the truth that yep. had I been able to go back and can I mention the price, by the way, of, yep. of uh, your offering? Yep. So John's offering is $5,000 a year flat fee and mm -hmm. anybody can access it. So just for your group, back, though. just for your crew. So nobody else gets the, that price. Yeah, just, yeah. For the, just for the, uh, anybody in the marketplace, if you're, if you're coming to look for training, we have a special price with John. John's a, a John's been grateful enough to join the advisory board and and and, and be a good mentor to me. Uh, but I personally invested millions of dollars in training. And had I been able to spend five thousand dollars a year flat fee, if I could buy through my marketplace, I would have saved probably seven hundred thousand dollars. And I would beg to say that I probably was recreating the wheel thirty thousand times. 
And I did not have the best. Well, we do have some really good trainers, and I, and I appreciate all the work they did. David Lemus, Eddie Bejo, all these guys, they've gone on. Eddie's still on our team. David Lemus owns a sales agency we work with now. They were doing the work, presenting the work. Well, we could have just accessed the best of the best for 5000 right? And this is, it's, it, it, it's, this is why we want you in the marketplace, because we were trying to help people faster, cheaper, more efficient. And also, to anybody who's a sales agency, right? Uh, I know I was a sales agency and I invested a lot of money. John's coming to speak on Friday, the Sales Agent Growth Summit. You're going to be talking on the topic of what's the topic again? We can tell everybody what the topic is. Age of the Agile Sales Rep. Because Age of the Agile Sales Rep. Yep. If you're not agile right now, you're you're gonna get replaced. Period. I'm watching it happen. I'm what you know, this this whole, you know, correction in the marketplace as far as you know, all the layoffs that are happening. It's a correction, but it's also a preparation. Because when you see a company, when you see a company like Microsoft lay off twenty thousand people, but then put twenty billion dollars into open AI, like the machines are coming. And the people who learn how to adapt with the machines and, and leverage them are gonna become indispensable. The people who okay. keep acting like robots are gonna get replaced by robots. I would even be meaner about it. You're very, very nice about it. Um, you're either gonna be asking for handouts or you're gonna be the one uh, giving out the handouts if you if you take the time to go up. So Good. for me, I'm like, look, this makes so much sense, right? Because at the end of the day, You've had a very, you know, when when you go as an individual and you fly to a place, right? There's a different price associated. There's different costs associated yeah. with that, right? So how do you make it cheaper, faster, more efficient? Is you, it's the same thing that Netflix did, right? Ten dollars a month, and you can access yep. all these movies, right? Mm -hmm. So you're really basically productizing your offering, making it still have that custom feel to it, right? Bringing the best people into it. And anybody listening through the marketplace, it's five thousand dollars a month for unlimited training. And that's if you look at like hiring one coach, if you hire one one trainer, you're already at fifty, sixty k for one trainer. Mm -hmm. This is five thousand a month unlimited no, 5, access a year. A year. a year, yeah, a year. When I tell people, yeah. they keep asking that. Yeah. Um, so, listen, guys, John's going to be at the event, um, talking to agencies and helping them out. Anybody's interested in learning more about the offering, uh, feel free to click the link below. It's going to be in the comment section and. I want to try to get into one of those courses. So I'm going to find a specialization that there I can go. really dominate and crush it because it. I want to be part of that. Right. At yeah. the end of the day, like I want to be part of that. And if people want more free, they can contact me, but I want to be part of what you're doing. Um, this has been awesome. I, I thank you again for creating this. I thank you for sharing it. I think companies that are looking to up their B2B legion game, up their revenue game, don't recreate the wheel because the wheel has already created. Yeah. Right. So I would, um, I would look for the best of the best in the business and and check out their offerings because you know getting john to fly down might cost xyz accessing unlimited for years is much better it's a much better yeah. price and uh and it's it is for a reason it's a fundamentally different offering john thank you again for everything you do for the community at large and uh for everything you're building and uh keep up the good work man thank you i appreciate it i'm looking forward to coming down and seeing you too on this in the summit it's gonna be fun Oh yeah, I got an eighty-five percent chance John moves to Medellin, Colombia after <laughs> after he he has his next exit. All right, guys, love it. Take care.